What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. If you've got a passion for new movies and for new audio and video gear, then tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. And for review, we've got Guardians of the Galaxy on 4K Blu-ray. I won't be reviewing the movie itself, I'm just gonna share with you my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 2.8K. It's got a 2K DI, it's rated PG-13. Runtime is 121 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 by one, so there will be those black letterbox bars, and no, there are no IMAX shots. All right, I didn't think there was a huge increase over this and the regular Blu-ray. There are some improvements, but nothing that was mind-blowing. Some shots do appear cleaner with more finer details, like some of the close-ups and mid-range shots. Faces were at times 4K clean, and costumes did have better textural detail as well. I did, however, notice maybe a bit of noise reduction here and there. At times, Gamora's face looked oddly waxy without any definition. Some far-field shots also appeared smoother as well. Either that or the CGI wasn't all that great to begin with. Again, there are some improvements in detail, but nothing drastic. As for HDR, it did make the image slightly dimmer, but there is a nice richness to the outer space scenes with all the various shades of purples, oranges, and yellows. The overall look was more natural, if not a bit on the warm side. Some scenes do pop with vivid HDR colors and spectral highlights from lights and that crazy purple explosion in chapter 10 is a blinder, so get your 3D glasses ready. I only say that because the 3D version trumps the 4K in just about every way. Black levels were alright, but they oftentimes came across lighter and didn't offer much in the way of contrast. Some scenes do look flat. If you were watching the 3D version, you wouldn't have that issue. Did I mention how awesome that shot of the Milano looked in chapter 2 right after Quill makes his getaway? It's kind of a perfect example of how excellent 3D can be. Too bad the 4K didn't look that good. So figure it out! Audio is in Dolby Atmos, Atmos, and yeah, we get another low volume dynamically challenged mix. I know some of you are going to just say turn up the volume and it'll sound okay. Well, that just doesn't work. First thing I noticed was how laid back I'm not in love sounded in the beginning of chapter 1. It did have a semi-decent spread across the front channels, but still just came across compressed sounding. I recall this sounding great at the theater when I first saw it. Another letdown would be the space battle in chapter 11 when they're flying around nowhere. There was the occasional ship that would fly overhead and some okay panning in the lower channels, but bass was just near non-existent. The same for chapter 15 when that huge aerial battle takes place. Light Atmos effects and light bass response. The only scene I thought was pretty good was the jail breakout in chapter 7. Those drones sounded good flying around the listening area, and they even flew above your head a few times. As for bass response, well, you know. Dialogue was fine, and I never had an issue hearing anyone speak. So for audio, I'm gonna go with a 6.7. It's low, it's compressed, and it's got a fantastic absence of height channel effects and bass response. And for a movie with a very popular soundtrack, you'd think this would be one of the better sounding mixes. For video, I'm gonna go with a 7.6. It's not the worst Marvel transfer I've seen. I think that one would go to Thor. There's a slight increase over the 1080p Blu-ray, and color does get a boost with HDR. I know it's not a formal review, but for 3D video, I'm gonna go with a 9.3. It's got awesome depth and dimension, with a couple of break the screen barrier shots, and it's also got those IMAX scenes thrown in. So should you buy the 4K Blu-ray if you already own the standard version? No, buy the 3D version. But if you don't own a 3D display, then the 4K is the next best thing. Now if you want to grab this disc, I'll leave some links for it down below in the description. It does help out the channel by using those links, which helps us bring you more content like this. So tell us your thoughts on this 4K transfer. Worth the purchase or wait for it to hit the $5 bin? Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content and giveaways, then stop by our Patreon page. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again in the next one.